Has anyone ever heard that most people spend more time planning a vacation than they do planning how they want to run their life? How many people in here have a clearly defined, articulated, written, visual depiction of exactly how you'd like your life journey to look? I've found through the years of working with folks that everything always starts with vision, but why aren't people doing it, articulating it? And there's a few reasons why. You know, you've probably all heard, like, and you can write goals down, put them in a drawer, and you increase the probability of things to happen. There's, there's truth to that. But there's some alignment that needs to happen too. I found it best and most meaningful if we can break our visions down by department. You know, health and wellness would be department, intellectual life, emotional life your love relationships, your family, your life experiences that you want to create a quality of life. All these things are, are ingredients that fit in. And all of them do what? Someone comes to me and they want to work on their business and their life and they want to get some alignment, say a, a CEO. They're trying to figure out how do I get my, my personal life and my regular life to, to work and coincide together. Starts with the vision, what do you want, right? Oftentimes people try to override what's going on. They want to make a behavior change, but in order to make the behavior change, they're, more, they're like, well, I'm not doing this and I need to, so I've got to find a way to do what? Make myself do it. I've got to force myself. And I've often found that when we're by forcing or making ourselves do something that's not aligned internally, it creates a problem. I, I want to kind of walk, walk you through a little bit about why it all starts with a vision. It's kind of a personal story of the power of, of, of building a, a, a clear vision of what you want to create. My wife, Jolie, she lo loves to capture photos. You know, when we, we, we get new iPhones every couple of years, it's like we have to go up in, in memory, right? And now our cloud memory has to go up so to hold all the photos that, uh, that she captures. And here's some pictures of, of our two and a half year old daughter, Grayson. She's a beautiful girl, and we really enjoyed the, the time we get with her, and we captured these photos. Now, my wife came last year. She had shown me this picture on her phone, and I'm like, we live in the New Hampshire seacoast. Like, Grayson doesn't, at that time, she didn't like to go in the water at the, at the ocean. She, I'm like, how did, you, how did you get that shot? She said, Chris, that's not Grayson. And this is my own daughter. I look at her all the time. And I'm like, are you sure? She's like, yeah, I captured. And she's like, look at the date. This photo was captured on November 4th, 2013, exactly a year before Grayson was born. This photo here is not my daughter. The reason I want to share these photos with you is because several years ago, we wanted to have a baby and we couldn't get pregnant. So we're like, well, we'll go down the adoption route. When you start talking to people about adoption, what do you think you learn? Usually the st stories are, are, are they, they, there's a positive side, but then there's all this other stuff. So we went and applied through an agency in New Hampshire, which the prior year they did about two adoptions. And they had a pretty long list of, of families. But from the time we started to the time that we adopted Grayson, from when we actually got uh, everything approved and, and began to end, it was about six months. She captured this and put this on her vision board in her office. So she had it captured on her phone in a library, but she had it on her board. She looked at it every day. On November 19th, we got a phone call um, from the agency, which happens to be my wife's birthday, uh, about the news of Grayson being born. So this is the power of having clarity and specifically what it is that we want. And it doesn't, it doesn't happen by accident. We control the meaning and the context of the things that we decide. And in life, it's very similar. People spend more time in their lives than working on their lives. It's a life by design or a life by default, you choose. Default might be fine, but why not by design? 